What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Since we've been having so much fun in Fusion the last few weeks working with the tracker, I figured we'd keep going with that a little bit. And today we're going to talk about how to use the tracker to attach an object to anything to have it track and move along in your image. So if we've got an image kind of like this of a sweet Mustang rolling down the road. And let's say we want to attach some text to it or an object or an image or anything. We can use the tracker and make something that looks kind of like this. So we're going to look at two examples today. The first one is going to be using text to attach it to an object, the Mustang in this case. And the second example is going to be to take the DaVinci Resolve logo. We're going to paste it on a door as you're walking down an alleyway. So you can use this in a lot of different situations. You can do it with images, with text, with video clips. There's a whole bunch of things you can do it with and a whole bunch of different ways to do it. Now, this is not the only way to do it. Like everything in Resolve, there's more than one way to do it. This is just one way that you can do it. So keep that in mind. If you've got a better way, feel free to leave a comment down below and maybe we'll get into other ways down the road in the future. Let's jump into Resolve and check this out. All right, so here we are in Resolve. I'm in the edit tab right now and I've got this clip of this Mustang cruising down the road that we're gonna use for example here. The first thing you need to do is I'm just gonna to come to the beginning of my clip, select it, and we wanna jump over into Fusion right here. So go ahead and hit on the Fusion tab. Once we're in Fusion here, the first thing that we need to do is add a tracker node, right? We wanna use the planar tracker. So hit Shift and Space Bar, and we wanna bring up the planar tracker. So you can start type it in there, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click Add. Now, as long as we have our median one highlighted here, it's gonna drop it right into uh, our node tree here and connect everything up for us. So the first thing that we wanna do, is select your planar tracker. Coming at the top here, mode, we want it to be track. Now you wanna make sure the next part here, you've got your playhead at the very beginning of your clip. You're gonna go ahead and hit set. In the next section here, we've got tracker. You wanna change that to hybrid point area. And we're gonna leave it on perspective for now, but you may need to try some of these different options here. Next, we're gonna come over here and zoom in on our image. I'm gonna hold command or control and my middle mouse wheel here. Now we want an area that we can track. So you want some good contrast or some good lines that's gonna allow Resolve to track it through the video clip. So in this case, I'm gonna put the word uh, Mustang on the door here. I know that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna select my points around uh, this area here. There's some good lines there on the door that Resolve should be able to track. I'm gonna make sure I get that little circle, close up our tracking area. Now all I have to do is come on over here and we're gonna track forward or track to the end by clicking this guy right here. Resolve's gonna go ahead and do its thing, track those points for us. I'm gonna zoom out a little here, holding Command or Control and my middle mouse wheel again. So now that our planar tracker tracked everything for us, you see all our little tracking points up here, we should be good to go as far as the tracking's concerned. The next thing we wanna do is have your planar tracker selected, come on up to operation mode, and we wanna change that to corner pin. So what this is gonna do is allow us to use the corner pin mode here to have an object sit however we want as far as perspective goes. So if we look at the screen here, we've got this little red box. I'm gonna zoom in a little here. And what I wanna do is place this box over wherever I'm gonna want the text to be. So I know I want it to be over here, and it's gonna go on this panel of the door. So I'm just gonna line this up the best I can. And it helps if there's you know some lines on here that I can follow. That should be good. So the next thing I wanna do is add in the text. So I'm just gonna click over here so I don't have anything selected. I'm gonna come over here and pick my text tool. It's gonna to drop a piece of text down into our node area click on the little square and connect it to the green part of the planar tracker. Now that I have the text highlighted, I'm gonna press number one so it brings it up in this viewer over here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some text in the inspector. I'm gonna say Mustang. Then I'm gonna go and pick some cool font that I like and you can do the same. I like this one called Sign Painter. Works out good for me. So if you look in our image here, now you see that Mustang text that we attached to the planar tracker, it's already in the right perspective and it's already attached to the car. So maybe I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna click on my text. I'm actually gonna add a transform node just to make it a little bit easier to work with here. So I'm gonna hit shift and space bar, add in a transform node. Here's our transform node. Go ahead and add that in. And as long as I have my text selected, it's gonna add it right in line for you. Click on that and let's make this guy bigger. I'm gonna bring that up here so we can see where it falls on the car there. Now let's say maybe I want it in a little bit of a different spot. If I come back and select my text node, can actually just come up here and grab my text and move it to wherever I want. And the cool part is if I move it on the left-hand side here, I can see it moving on the right, right on the car. So I think that looks pretty good. Now maybe I wanna add a drop shadow in there to add a little bit of an effect to it. So after the transform node, I'm gonna hit shift and space bar again. We're gonna add a drop shadow. Here's our drop shadow, I'm gonna click add. It adds it right in line for us. Try to keep everything nice and neat here, you know what I mean? Then on the drop shadow, you can come in here and adjust it however you like. 
uh, you know, change the angle, whatever you want to do is perfectly fine. So if I zoom out a little and we just play through the video, we see that word Mustang tracks perfectly on the door there, which is awesome. And that's it for all you got to do in Fusion here. So let's jump back into the edit tab right here. Click on this guy, shoot you over to the edit tab. Let's check this out and just see how it looks here. So you can see there it's stuck to the door pretty good. It might move a little bit. Maybe we got to adjust our tracking a little bit, but that's the idea of how you would attach some text to an object using the tracker. So now I've got another example for you. Let's say you're walking down a corridor here and you want to put the DaVinci Resolve logo on this door or any logo or video or whatever it might be. You want to put something on that door. How do we do that? So I'm going to select my clip here in the edit tab, go to the beginning of the clip and jump over into Fusion by clicking this guy right here. Once we're in Fusion, again, we want to bring up the planar tracker, hit shift and space bar, and we want to see planar tracker. Go ahead and add that in. It's going to make my window a little bigger there. Now I want to select this door as the point that's going to get tracked, right? So coming over into the inspector again, we're going to leave it on track. I'm going to hit set. So we start at the beginning tracker type. I'm going to go to hybrid point area and I'm going to leave it on perspective because we've got a perspective view here. So I'm going to stick with that for now. And I'm just going to select around the door area here and make a little area that we want to track. Close it up and then I'm going to hit track to the end. Let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. So now you notice the tracking points stop right here because that's where the door stops. So there's nothing else to track in the area that we selected, which is perfectly fine. So next we want to add in the DaVinci Resolve logo so that we can have it attached to the door. So same technique as with the text. I'm going to select uh, just out in the area here so that I don't have the planar tracker highlighted. I'm going to come into my media pool here and I'm going to grab the DaVinci Resolve logo and I'm just going to drag it out and drop it in here. Again, grab your end here and connect it up to the planar tracker. I need to go back to the beginning of my clip here. Now, when I come into the planar tracker, I'm going to come back to operation mode and I'm going to go to corner pin. Now you can see that our logo is already in there because I happened to add it in before doing this step right here of the corner pin. If you did the corner pin first, then when you drop in your logo, it should just go into the right perspective. But in this case, I did backwards. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to click on my planar tracker. Now I'm going to line this guy up with my door. And you can try and follow the straight edges on the door there the best that you can. And again, command or control to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use my middle mouse to kind of pan around. And I'm just going to put it on there somewhere that looks good. And again, this could be as big or as small as you want it to be. doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Zoom out. Now, if I just deselect my planar tracker, we can see it there. And if I hit play, you see it tracks on the door and goes off screen there. So that's perfect. And again, you can add in other effects. You can add in opacity. Uh, you want to add in a drop shadow here too. You can do that. You should shift space bar, search drop shadow, add that in. It's going to add that in. And, uh, you know, you can change it to be whatever you want. Maybe I like something like that. Maybe I even want to uh, change the size of it. So I'm going to add in a transform node. I'm going to drop that in. Transform. I'm going to shrink it down. And now if I just come and play through the video, there's our DaVinci Resolve logo attached to the door. So that is it. That is some more fun you can have here with the planar tracker in Fusion right here in DaVinci Resolve. A lot of cool little things you can do that aren't that complicated that can really help bring your video to the next level and just add some cool effects. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you learned just a little something in this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.